GMOG Sports TV back with another one. Real quick, man. Um, <laughs> you know, boxers, they tend to get away with saying some suspect shit because they're boxers. Some real suspect, pause worthy, no homo type shit. And, um, you know, J-Rock Julian Williams is no different. Um, he says some suspect shit, and I'm going to play the clip real quick, and, <laughs> and I'm going to come back with my commentary. So we play this clip real quick and come back. One second. I actually saw you backstage eating a banana before you take on the banana. Was that indicative of what we're to see tomorrow night? Yeah, I, I plan on peeling this banana tomorrow night. You know, you have, you have all those belts, your first defense of those titles. And you get to do it here in Philadelphia. I know you've had the blinders on, but in this moment, what does fighting here and defending your titles mean to you? It means a lot. You know, I've been dreaming about doing stuff like this since I was a little boy. And now I'm finally here. So it's like a, little, a, a bit of a surreal moment, but I'll relive it on Monday morning and I look back to my Instagram and stuff like that. Right now I'm locked in focus. For all the best boxing content, follow PBC on Fox. You know what's funny about that, right? He said he wants to peel his banana back. And then he also said he dreamed about it as a little boy. And he wants to reflect on it on, on his Instagram. That is pause worthy of the century. And this century just started 2020. He already got the quote of the year by saying that indirectly, right? <laughs> That's crazy, man. <laughs> you know, J-Rock's still my dude, man. One of my favorite fighters at 154. He's fighting tomorrow against Jason Rosario. Uh, for the IBF and WBA strap unified titles, um, you know, J-Rock had one of the best fights or if not the best fight of the year last year against Jared Hurd. Um, I love fighters who make comebacks and make adjustments after taking a loss. Taking a loss does not mean nothing. As long as you make it, as long as you can make adjustments and come back like J-Rock, I give you props. I give you respect. You know what I'm saying? But besides the homo shit, the, the, all that gay shit. <laughs> That J-Rock said, I'm still, uh, you know, looking forward to the fight tomorrow between uh, him and, and Jason Rosario, one of his mandatories for the IBF strap. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the fight. But, yeah, this 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 quote, man, crazy, man. You know, he just basically doubled down. It's funny how these Muslims, and he's Muslim, too. He he says some suspect shit, suspect shit. Mike Tyson, who was Muslim, said some suspect shit back in the day. He said he wants to, uh, uh, he said, I'll F you till you love me, you F. Remember that? To Lennox Lewis, <laughs> he was Muslim. So these dudes, man, these dudes from the Nation of Islam and, and, and motherfuckers like that, they they own some other shit, man. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. GMOG Sports TV. That's all I got for y'all. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at GMOG Media TV. Till, till next time, family. Signing out. Peace.